you did a movie and it's called Bottoms and you took a role in honor for your sister because you said you wanted to right a wrong. Yeah. Explain to our audience what you mean by that. <laughs> oh man, you know, uh, shit, in high school, uh, you know, those little birds chirping and shit and uh, it come out, you know, it come past my, you know what I mean, my locker. You know what I mean? My sister was uh, was gay or whatever, so I'm, and at the time, I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm running around looking for my sister. And then when I found her, I kind of got at her in a, in a way, in a manner of which, you know, wasn't right. Right. And I know I kind of made my sister feel bad. And I mean, you know, me and my sister went through like a little rocky time. You know, she was in college playing and shit. I'd pop up to the games. I mean, and she wouldn't, uh, you know, wouldn't even holler at me. So you feel me? I just, you know what I mean, as I... As I as I grew, you know what I mean. So how old were you when you first found this? When you first the birds started chirping, Ooh, you was, started. I was about 16, 17. Is she older or younger than you? She younger than me. Okay. You know what I mean? And I, you feel me? I'm a protector. And my sister got at me like, "Hey, look, check this out. <laughs> I can't have no, I can't have no boys talking to me. I can't talk to no girls. Like, hey, what I'm supposed to do? I sat there. And I thought, I'm like, damn, what is it? like, well, you make a lot of sense. You feel me? So I mean. But since that point, you know what I mean? My sister been my rock. Right. You feel me? She actually ran my store in Vegas. So when you find this out and your sister, all of a sudden you go your way, you go, were you able to still maintain contact or was she just like distance? Nah, you said what you said. You got me in my feelings. Or were you like, I'm just big bro. I'm just looking out for you. I'm just trying to be your protector. I just want to make sure <laughs> everything's okay. So how did she handle that? Nah, you know what, man? My, my sister actually solid as fuck though. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, you know how she played it. Um, it was more like, she knew I was going to come to the games. She just made sure she made me feel it. You know what I mean? Because little brother, we, we close family, though. Right. You feel me? Big bro, little, uh, little bro, all my cousins and shit. So we all pop out the game. She makes sure she get everybody a hug and ah! you know, look at <laughs> me like, yeah, you know what type of time it is. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I felt it. And like I said, you know, the, I mean, the shit, that was all we had. Right. And you feel me? It was something really important because my mama always told me for sure, like, you never take family business outside. Right. And the thing was, you feel me? So I, I was, I was, I was overstepping boundaries, and I was out of bounds on more than just the level of me not, not handling that right with my sister. But shit, I was, you know what I mean, disrespecting mom too, because I took family business outside. Right. And that's something I. And from that point, it was like that shit was mandatory for me. Like you know, I'm talking about stay on your p's and q's, no matter what your. You know what I mean, you know, it was more so I'm thinking I'm hurting my sister's feelings, but shit, I was really the one in my feelings. Right. Yeah. Your sister got married. Facts. You were very, very involved in this wedding. You planned it. You did everything. That's not normally the role that a brother normally plays. Why were you so involved in the wedding? Why did you feel so compelled to become so involved? Uh, I mean, it was a few reasons, and mainly the, the the biggest reason of why it was is because we used to plan the funerals from where we from. Okay, you know I'm talking about, mm -hmm. and the opportunity for uh, you know for my sister to get married, that shit was bigger than shit at life, at, bigger than life for me at that point. Uh, considering you feel me, pops just died. Right. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, my auntie and one of my closest friends just died. And, you know what I mean, going to three front of rules, this was, you know what I mean? Uh, this was something to really to celebrate. I know we're supposed to celebrate yeah. home goings because there's no more pain, no more suffering. But this was such a joyous occasion considering the road that you and your sister, now all of a sudden, y'all was running, walking parallel, now you intersect. Exactly. And then when she got at me, like, because, uh, I mean, at first she was going to have my uncle walk her down. And then she like, you, you walk me down the aisle? And I'm talking about, oh shit, like, hell yeah, it was no question. <laughs> feel me? So then when she, you know, put that kind of on me, then it's like, oh shit, now I'm in it. I get to walk her down. You know what I mean? What you need, what we need to do, what we need to take care right. of, let's get it done. I mean, I done, like I said, we done planned so many funerals, like, so this was, this was huge. Considering how close you and your sister are, had she gone that path and let her let your uncle do it, would you have felt some type of way? No, nah. hell no. Nah. 
Because like I told you, we when I say we're a close family, we're a close family. Right. You feel me? I, and the, as close as we are, shit, I wouldn't have been surprised if she would have called Marcus, Josh, Rail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Any any one of uh shit our cut, because the way we was raised, it wasn't like this your cut. That that's your brother. Right. Because if one go out and one fight, you all fight. Right. And that was just how we was. So the relationship that I had with my sister, she got, you know what I mean, three brothers, but she really got 10, 15 brothers. <laughs> exactly. You 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 know how that go. You know how black families are. <laughs> Since everybody get married, what's up with you? What's up with me? The marriage. You so supposed to tie the knot? You 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 look yeah, at the tie congratulations. the knot. Congratulations! I'm, I'm proud of him. Fuck! <laughs> nah, I know. Yeah, I'm proud we of proud of. I don't know about you. I when, seen I seen I seen uh, Ocho just hit you with the same. Yeah, man. Look. He trying to marry me off. So now you trying to do time? <laughs> you trying to throw it? I see this is a generational thing. Huh? <laughs>